Hello, hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, I am going to talk about, um, or I'm going to read the next section in Napoleon and Josephina um, by Francis Montepestor. I think we're on chapter 4, so let's read that. There are all sorts of pictures that I will show you. He's funny, Bonaparte. Josephine said it with a little shrug of amusement, not disparagingly, not mockingly, for she was incapable of mockery or malice. But as if in apology for extravagant the extra, for the extravagance of her husband's passion, as if to say that he must be humorous, young as he was, and a fiery untamed cor cor Corazon to boot. She said it to the playwright and to win Arnett, her friend and frequent expert at Paris victory celebration that spring of 1796. Her admirer and apparently a pla platonic one. Since she did not hesitate to share with him the most intimate of correspondences. The letters she showed me, like all the rest, had, all the rest, the general had addressed to her since his departure. Academic Arnett wrote later, was characterized by an uttermost violent passion. Josephine was amused at this emotion, which was not exempt from jealousy. I can still hear her reading a passage in her husband, in which her husband, trying to suppress the anxieties which obviously tormented him, had written. This is true, however, then tremble before the dagger of us of that Othello. I can still see her smile, still hear her saying in the cruel drawl of hers, he's funny. Fun, fun. The love she inspired in so extraordinary a man evidently flattered her, although she took the thing almost less seriously than he. She was proud to see that he loved her almost as, as much as he loved glory. She enjoyed that glory which was enhanced by every day that passed. But it was in Paris that she preferred to enjoy and in the midst of the accl acclamations which rang out about her at every fresh victory bulletin from the army of Italy. Not that Arnaud was to be her only confidant. It was to be sure with unadulterated pride that Josephine and Lady of Pointed, um to that to that correspondence as the proof in black and white of the great man's adoration, but it's still but it it is still somehow shocking to consider how indiscriminate, how carelessly she would hand round those pages on which he had laid bare, laid bare his heart to her friend, to her honor, a quintet, even to a mate, who in publishing their inevitable memoirs included copies of the original. Lady in waiting, Claire Devergie's um, the wrestlement would be treated to an inspection of the famous pactage and shrewd and shrewd observer that she was intimate mother member of the Bonaparte family as she came to be. Her comments and conclusions are of exceptional interest. They were extraordinary letters to handwriting almost 
in the cipher rules. The autographery faulty, the bizarre, bizarre interviews. But marked by a tone so impassioned by emotion, so turbulent by expression, so vibrant, vibrant, and at the same time so poetic. By a love so apart from all other loves that no woman in the world, world could fail to take pride in having been their inspiration. And besides, what a circumstance for a woman to find, which to find himself as one, or herself as one of the motivating influences for the tribunal mark of an entire army. Even so, these letters from Napoleon revealed symptoms of jealousy. Something sometimes sober, sometimes menacing. On these occasions, a melancholy reflectiveness um, evidenced itself. It sort of disgust with all two epochal illusions of life. Perhaps these were disillusionments with Bruce Bonaparte's heart in its original adore. These, perhaps, the disappointments which took their toll, they made their mark and blightened one by one his capacity for love. Perhaps he would have been a better man had he been more, above all, better love. Yet had Josephina adore not his, had she been other than she was bewitching, seductive, a co a co coquette. No a woman of the world and a belle of Paris director of society, it is unlikely that she would have exerted upon Napoleon in that particular period of his life so irresistible an, action, an attraction. And had Napoleon been other than he was, he had been older and more experienced with him. He would have realized that Josephina, in all her glamour and enchantment, represented the idle mistress rather, rather than the idle wife. Josephina herself may have sensed it, for she had she embarked unhesitantly upon the romantic liaison. Liaison. She was reluctant to embark on nature nominally. How had he come to choose to insist upon this particular reluctant heroine? And in full knowledge of her fra fragilities of the tarnish to the rep reputation, everything about uh, everything about you pleased me, even to the memory of the error of your way. Virtue for me consistence of what you made it. How explain Josephine's reluctance? What matter woman was she? What experience has formed her? What adventures? What disillusions? Can I come up? Can I come um, up? Well, a little bit, okay? Wait. Now, uh, no, now, I'll now. wait. Wait, please. Can no, you wait? I you up, can I draw. Up, I up. You can um, draw. Up. Draw, please. No, up. <sighs> but I'm already on something. I don't know where I'm on. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm reading to the crowd. Um how explain how how explain Josephine's reluctance? What matter of woman was she? What experience had formed her? What adventures? What disillusion up, of up, her? Up, 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 I went down, I went down. Huh? I need to up because... I know. You get up. Get up on me. Go. Okay, go, okay, go, okay, go, okay, go, 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 go,
that yeah, not yeah. supported by the facts of her you life. What? Even the the that she shunned a the blue thinking, the social comments, the acclamation. She thoroughly enjoyed oh, yeah. as audience had One shown. more time. Nor was it a remorseless glare of history from which she instinctively shielded away. Of that, she was totally unexpected as of the fact that Napoleon's offer of export was to avenge oh, yeah. her ascent. One more time. Just the day was slow, Which painfully thing? slow. Last, a boom among the last, he achieved his genius a to recognize him oh, as yeah. a man of destiny. Their friend, the resolute, more, more imaginative, more perspective, was among the first. It was impossible not to feel the tremendous impact of a man. Impossible not to be stirred by his presence. Josephina managed the impossible. For in the start of the government, in any event, whether or not she would have preferred no. to linger in oh no, um, oh no, in them, this was anonymous, this was whether or not she Roger, might have lived more Roger. happily and sincerely there, Napoleon Roger. willfully plucked her out. I have always been able to impose my will on destiny. As he warned her in one of his letters, Dilly Dilly, she was to be made over in the image she displayed. He had placed the crown upon her head, upside her head, covered over all of her naked history. Stop it! Stop it! You stop. You screaming. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not making a video of you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Scarly. Wait. Hold on, I'm on the Wait, 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 Jump up. Jump, jump Scarly, a shred of her original wait, 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 her wait. She almost seems to me merely another figure fragment of her colossal imagination. By the name, by the very, by the very name which she is rem remembered, uh, but was of his choosing his sweet and incapable Josephina. When they met, she was not even this, not even Josephina. What is this? Alright, Bobby. What's this thing? What's it ghost ID? Oh, what it's a uh, bed light that's on. That's what I mean. Okay, this oh. is a picture. Okay. Yeah. I know. You see it? It's, um, and you can read the text on mm -hmm. the bottom if you choose. Mm -hmm. Another picture. <laughs> Want to look at it? Yeah. Oh. That's it. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's people. Another picture. And another picture. Make sure I'm holding it um, the right way, like just holding it so people can see it. And the text. Another picture and other pictures. Mm -hmm. And the last mm -hmm. picture. I'm going to show that one clear. Oh. Um, I yeah. see the cat. Yeah. Uh uh. Move mm -hmm. this down, Bobby. All right. No one down itself. Anyway, um, have a great day. Um, and that yeah. is chapter one. Chapter three, was it? Four. Four um, um, Napoleon and Josephina. Say bye, Bobby. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.
Bye bye. Bye. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe down below. That's it. Subscribe down below. Subscribe down below. And hit the thumbs up button. And hit the thumbs up button. Enjoy this video a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.